Hey guys, it's that time of the year again. We're getting ready for field day. So today, I'm just gonna show you a brief setup of what we did today. We set up everything and uh, got our antenna set up, got the radio equipment set up, everything's ready for tomorrow for a big field day for 2021. So stay tuned, that's right here, right now on Ham Radio for non-techies. All right, guys, as I said, uh, we're getting ready for field day. I decided to uh, run down today and hang out with my my uh, club here, and we, uh, we're getting everything set up. I was not expecting to have what we what – we, I wasn't expecting to do what we did. Uh, I thought we were going to be setting up little antennas, you know, things in tents. They got this whole thing really, really just crazy out there. Uh, the park that we're in actually used to be a house or a ranch, so the people, I guess, donated the property to the city or whatever. They turned into a park but left the house there. So we're actually operating field day inside a nice air-conditioned area. We got four radios set up. They're doing kind of like a uh, light version of field day. Uh, I guess there's still some people that are kind of uh, weary about the last year's issues. And uh, they're just kind of doing a field day light is what they're kind of calling it. But uh, I would decide to jump in the truck, go down there, help out with the setup, maybe meet some people I haven't had, had a chance to meet except on the radio. And, uh, yeah, we just did a, we did a really good setup. Took about four hours to get everything done. But I just want to share some of the footage with you. Nothing crazy. Um, I will be there tomorrow. This is the Brazos Valley Amateur Radio Club Field Day. Uh, you can go to bvarc.org if you're in the area and want to go down and visit. They're taking anybody in that wants hams, non-hams, whatever. If you just have an interest in ham radio, you can come down, operate the radios, learn about stuff. They'll have lots of classes. Uh, of course, lots of food. They're uh, uh, they're boasting that we're going to have plenty of food, and no one's going to leave hungry. So if you're looking for something like that, you're in the Houston area, want to come down, it might be a great opportunity to learn little stuff, get to meet me and a couple other people, and make some new friends. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I just want to show you the, pre, the, the kind of the pre-setup of everything that we did today, and it's all ready for tomorrow. So without further ado, we'll jump to that footage. So we're currently trying to get the antenna up, decide to tilt the uh, lift so we can get this second antenna up here. And this is going to be a challenge. I'll uh, come back when we have a more viable solution. So we're out here setting up uh, for field day for tomorrow. And uh, sorry guys, I didn't bring my mic set up here, so I'm just using the mic off my phone. But uh, we've been having a heck of a time getting these antennas up. And I got some pretty big equipment out here. So we're getting ready. We just got the last antenna, I think, set up here for this pole. And I'll turn around and let you guys see what we've been doing here. So as you can see, we've got a huge lift over here. And we attached our pole to that. We got two different antennas going on to this. And I swear we've been fighting this for a while now. It's been kind of a bear getting these uh, up. But I think we're finally at the end of it here. We should be tilting these things up shortly. So I will come back when we're at that point and raising the antennas up. Stay tuned. All right, here we go, folks. Going to see if we can raise the antennas without killing anybody or breaking any antennas. Yeah, it could really ruin our day and three or four hours of work if 
these things all of a sudden decide to snap on us at the last second. It looks like we're getting it. We're almost vertical. If you guys are ever interested in seeing how antennas are put up, like the bigger ones, this is uh, definitely one way of doing it. This is why we stick with the smaller antennas on the channel here for you guys. You don't have to go through all this crazy stuff to put them up and get on the air. So. Like we're trying to get a little more lift on these things, get them as high up in the sky as possible. Again guys, this is the Brazos Valley Amateur Radio Club and we're getting ready for field day 2021, which is tomorrow. We're spending a significant amount of time today just trying to set everything up and get everything fine-tuned. We're expecting a pretty good turnout of people since they didn't have one last year. Yeah, we're, we're really going up there high, aren't we? Wow. This thing's almost almost fully extended. I say we're a good 50 some odd feet up in the air right now. We're good. Anyway guys, I'm not gonna bore you to death with watching this the last little bits of this. We got it up. Seems to be working. If anything uh, goes sideways, I'll be sure to cover that and put it on the channel here. So we'll catch up with you guys going to the next segment. So going inside, go check out the radio room. Got quite a few radios set up in here, ready for tomorrow. In case you're interested, we're running these Elecraft K3s. Looks like we're doing a little FT8. And those antennas we hung up outside are really picking up the bands. We got it going on. So there you have it guys we just did our setup today like i said it took a couple hours it was really cool meeting some people finally from my club after this whole past year of lockdowns and craziness i even got a, a couple of fans that came out there that uh that live locally and hear me on the radio and see and watch the uh watch the channels that was kind of cool looking forward to seeing a lot of people tomorrow doing some interviews getting some more stuff and i will be releasing the uh footage of the field day probably on monday i'm gonna try to get it done by monday so if you want to kind of see what the field day was like i'm gonna try to catch as much interesting stuff get a couple interviews from people see what they think what they what their thoughts are on field day and ham radio in general and we'll just go from there guys anywho i gotta get ready to roll because field day's coming and i'm not ready just yet so <laughs> you guys have a great one have a good weekend if you're getting out to field day have a good time stay safe get on the air do some contesting learn some stuff Learn about ham radio. This is a great time to do it because now for field day, anybody can come out, 
to these uh, these events, and they're all over the world right now. They'll be all over the world through Sunday. And you can go out there and, and learn stuff, ask questions, you know, get any other anything you want, any, any questions you want answered, you get you know taken care of out there. So I highly encourage if you're interested in ham radio, this is the one day or the one weekend you really want to be out there and try to check it out. So look for stuff in your area. If not, go to the ARRL.org. They have a whole listing of all the field day events around the world. And you can go check that out and see what you can get uh, get going. Anyway, guys, my name is Scott. My call sign is KI5NPL. This is Ham Radio for Non-Techies, and we are clear.